Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Let's get into the holiday edition of the Wyke Fitness Podcast. What's up, guys? Matt Wyke, Wyke Fitness. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be listening to this actually on the holiday. I'm sure you're super busy for the Thanksgiving holiday. But if you are, thank you for tuning in. If you're listening to this as a replay, whether it's on your phone, you're listening to it on Black Friday or over the weekend, thank you so much. So today, I really just wanted to go into some, you know, fun statistics for Thanksgiving. We're all in the holiday spirit, and I think it's it's something fun and different. Yes, it's, it has nothing to do with health or fitness or business or entrepreneurship, but I think overall, I think it's just going to be a fun episode because a lot of these statistics that I was looking at actually shocked me, and I think you might get the same uh, feeling. So with that being said, I found some of these statistics on Statista.com. So let's start with there, and then I have a second source of information from another website that I'll get into. So let's kick it off. The share of Americans who feel they have more to be thankful for this year is 41%. The share of Americans who would not shop on Thanksgiving Day is 32%, which is... I find that number to be extremely low because when you think about it, 68% of people are saying, yeah, I would shop on Thanksgiving. Me, personally, no way. There's no way I would shop on a holiday. Um, Let's see. Walmart's television ad spend over Thanksgiving in the United States alone is $70.7 million. The share of Americans who will celebrate Thanksgiving at home this year is 57%. So more than half of Americans are going to stay home for the holidays. I'm assuming that means maybe family's coming to them, or maybe they're just not doing anything at all. So let's talk about the Thanksgiving meal itself. The average price of a 10-person Thanksgiving dinner in the United States is $49.12. The average U.S. price of a 16-pound turkey is $22.38. The share of Americans who expect that their Thanksgiving meal will include gluten-free substitutions, 20%. The share of Americans who will have mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving dinner 64%. In terms of Thanksgiving travel, the number of U.S. Thanksgiving holiday travelers is going to be 50.9 million people. The share of Thanksgiving travelers who will travel by automobile, so, you know, car, you know, whatever, 89.3%. So now, getting back to that whole, you know, would you shop on Thanksgiving? There's some statistics on Thanksgiving and Black Friday shopping. So the U.S. online sales revenue on Black Friday, just Black Friday, is estimated to be $1.97 billion, that's with a B, billion dollars. U.S. desktop retail spending on Cyber Monday, which is the following Monday. So you have Black Friday, you have the weekend, and then Monday. So Cyber Monday is going to be even larger. $3.36 billion. The share of Americans who plan to start online shopping at noon on Thanksgiving Day is 34%. Man, if I was on my phone or laptop shopping, I think my family would probably break my phone. Um, Let's see. And then the share of shopping orders over Thanksgiving weekend from mobile devices, 46% of the population. So the second source of information that I have is actually from the Nationwide blog. And so, you know, this is going over, you know, the origins and stuff. So... 
1621 marks the first year that the pilgrims celebrated a bountiful harvest and feasted for three days. That first Thanksgiving menu consisted of wild goose or duck, wild turkey, deer, flint corn, fish, shellfish, and eels. Obviously, today's modern-day Thanksgiving menu consists of turkey and mashed potatoes and stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and corn. So, at that first Thanksgiving feast, there were 50 pilgrims and 90 tribesmen. And then Sarah Josepha Hale, it took her 36 years of campaigning to convince Abraham Lincoln to make Thanksgiving a national holiday, which went into effect in 1863. And if that name sounds familiar to you, she's also the person who wrote the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So when you look at some more of the statistics for Thanksgiving dinner, 96% of American families gather each Thanksgiving for a meal. So that could consist of any meal during Thanksgiving Day. The average time that it takes to cook a Thanksgiving meal is seven hours. But get this, the average time spent eating the meal is only 16 minutes. That's pretty interesting. So 28% of Americans will have more than 12 people at their table this Thanksgiving. And then obviously following Thanksgiving dinner, usually they have desserts. One big main dessert are the pies. So what percentage of pies will be consumed after dinner? The highest percentage at 57% is pumpkin. Follow that up by 14% for pecan, 9% for sweet potato, and then there's a 20% of other. So I'm assuming that's going to be a mix of things like uh, maybe a, a cherry pie, an apple pie, uh, you know, various types of, of fruits. So there are 46 million turkeys consumed in the United States on Thanksgiving alone. And nearly 88% of Americans will have turkey as part of their Thanksgiving meal. Now, looking at turkey itself... The average U.S. citizen eats around 16 pounds of turkey a year. Now, here's a little fun fact. The largest turkey ever raised was 86 pounds. <laughs> it must have been like a, a little pig walking around on, on somebody's property. That's, that's ginormous. And then, so for leftovers, 79% of Americans value their Thanksgiving leftovers more than the actual meal itself. The five most popular things that people use their turkey for leftovers is either a sandwich, a stew, chili, casseroles, or as a burger. Now, going back to this travel day, so for driving... 41.9 million people are going to end up driving to their Thanksgiving dinner. Now, between 3 to 5 p.m. on Wednesday, that's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, the day before, is the worst time to drive. So, if you can get there earlier, that's probably better. Traffic improves by 60% between the Saturday and Sunday after Thanksgiving. And if you're flying, 36.1 million people will be flying to their Thanksgiving dinners. Now, if you fly out on Thanksgiving Day, which, good luck, it's going to be a madhouse, rather than the day before Thanksgiving, you could save $40 on the trip. Now, a Friday or Tuesday return flight is around 25% less than if you were to leave that Saturday, Sunday, or Monday to go home. That's really all I got. I thought some of those statistics were 
really interesting. Uh, some of them were funny. Some of them were kind of like, whoa, I can't believe, you know, that's, <laughs> that's how much turkey, excuse me, how much turkey we eat, you know, every single year. Um, you know, but that, that gigantic turkey made me, <laughs> made me chuckle a little, a little, but, uh, I, if you're listening to this on Thanksgiving, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I, I hope, uh, uh, you know, you got there safe, you're full of joy and you're around friends and family and everyone's laughing and having a great time, enjoying each other's company. Cause that's really what it's all about. You know, we want to give thanks and, and we want to give appreciation to, you know, everyone in our lives, you know, be thankful for everything that we have with our lives because there's so many people who have less than all of us so you know take a moment this thanksgiving or even you know after the holidays if if you're just getting to this episode after the holiday took place and just be grateful for the things that you have in your life because we're we're truly blessed to be in the position that we are here in the united states uh there's there's just so much going on in the world and you know there's so much so many things that create negativity, that create crisis and, 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 and tragedy. And, you know, if, if you're able to have your health, the roof over your head, food on your table, you know, you're truly, truly blessed. So with that being said, I hope you are having a fantastic Thanksgiving. Or if you're listening to this after, I hope you had an amazing holiday. Thank you so much for being here with me. It means a lot to share my holiday with you. And I hope to catch you guys next week.